So a buddy of mine in St. Chef just texted me a while back saying that Robert Kraft, the owner for the New England Patriots, I guess he got caught in a prostitution sting and the police in Florida were going to put out a warrant for his arrest. Now, at first I made a video talking about it, but then I deleted it and went back to go read the story. So I guess Robert Kraft went to an Asian massage parlor where the police say people would pay anywhere from $59 to $79 for to have a sex act performed on them. Now, I don't know where the fuck this place is, but I want to go now. <laughs> I haven't gotten laid in eight months, for God's sake. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> so he's going to get arrested for soliciting a prostitute. Kind of, sort of, a victimless crime. I mean, my first thought is... Who gives two shits and a fly fuck what this grown-ass man does with another grown-ass woman? But it's not pip and ho shit anymore. See, back in the days, it was pip and ho shit. Like, you know, you, you would see, you know, some dude, he's a pimp, you know, the girl, he's a hoe. And there's pip and ho shit. But now it's sex trafficking. Now, when I think of sex trafficking, I think of, like, billionaire guys flying these underage kids across, you know, foreign lines, different countries, and just holding them as sex slaves, like some kind of evil James Bond or Rambo villain. Some, basically, I think of like, like chomos, you know what I'm saying? See, sex trafficking, that word sounds really bad, right? Trafficking, bringing, committing a crime, bringing one product from across state lines. That's basically what trafficking is. It's sex trafficking, sex slaves. No, it's not. It's a fucking dumb, idiot, drug addicted whore who is stupid and then the other guy that her that she's with he's a pimp he's even stupider and they're both idiots and they just hook up and she has sex with men for money and then she gives all her money to him see that whole pimp and whole shit that shit is the bit i don't know by the way this guy is 77 years old and he's still getting it up god bless him he should be given a medal not arrested you know, I feel bad that his wife got, you know, she, his wife died of ovarian cancer. So, you know, he's free and clear, unfortunately. And dude, he, look, here's the thing. Listen up, assholes. He's 77 years old. He's a billionaire. Your money can only make you happy for so long. He's not, he doesn't have that many years left in life. Okay. His, his years, his mortality is, is coming before he's very eyes. He wants to have fun. Leave him the fuck alone, okay? If he wants to have fun and bang prostitutes, who gives a shit? Let him do what he wants to do. And of course, the fucking disgusting mainstream media, they're making a big, huge deal about this. Not only because he's rich and, and, and famous, but because he's a Trump supporter. And of course, they have to stick a, a microphone in Trump's face. Hey, Mr. President, what do you think about your friend being arrested for in the prostitution sting? And you know, like, he's like, it's very sad and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Actually, my Donald Trump impersonation really is a Ronald Reagan impersonation. I really don't know how to do that. But who gives a fuck? How come nobody's talking about when fucking Bill Clinton was fucking flying on a private jet having sex with underage kids? How come nobody's talking about that? Are huh? you talking about a fucking grown-ass man who could do whatever the fuck he wants because he's grown, motherfucker, and he's a billionaire. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Okay, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. And you guys are in the fucking media because he's a Trump supporter. You guys make me fucking sick, mainstream media motherfuckers. You guys make me sick. I hate you guys. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Who cares? Anyways, I'm black. We get them out.